Glitz and glam are the words that I would use to describe the Dubai automobile market. However, with this phenomena, there's some of us who would want all the glitz and the glam on a budget. Today, I am privileged to be reviewing one of my favorite SUVs, the Hyundai Santa Fe. front view, the most outstanding feature about this car is definitely its linear grille, which has a little bit of a chrome finish that gives it the nice shiny edge. On to the side, it comes fully equipped with swiveling headlights, daytime running lights and fog lights, which to be honest, I feel I underutilize and I could probably improve on that. Moving on to the side, this beauty comes equipped with fully pumped 19 inch alloy rims and at the back the most outstanding thing about it is definitely the chrome exhaust however i did mention i like my glitz and glam for me the most cute exterior feature about this car is definitely the sidestep which allows me to take my cute selfies and post online hashtag my hyundai my santa fe Let's get our first take of what it feels like to be inside the Hyundai Santa Fe. Now, first impression, I am definitely loving the leather bucket seats and the color is absolutely amazing. However, when I turn to the front, not so happy about the center stack that we have right here. Personally speaking, I just feel it has too many buttons. It's a bit confusing and I'm more accustomed to a much more crisp, clean dashboard that has more touchscreen features than buttons. And lastly, plastic grainy finish. No, 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 no. Definitely not a hit for me. This looks like my makeup table when I'm done doing my face. A mess. Okay, enough of my cosmetic madness. Let's talk features. Number one, I am absolutely loving the instrument clusters. Everything is available on my steering wheel and I like that it has a connotated logo that makes it easier for me to understand what it can do. Number two, I love my music in my car and if there's one thing that I do not compromise on is my infotainment options. This car comes equipped with not one, not two, but three options whereby you have USB, AUX and your Bluetooth connections. Lastly, but not least, who doesn't like a long panoramic views? Hello selfies, we came to slay. Wow, the first thing that catches my attention about the drive is the car is extremely light and very easy to flex around, like very easy to maneuver. I like that. Number two, the noise reduction, like it's a very quiet car, allows me to think, get into my head. Number three, what can I say? Oh, the bonnet. I like the fact that the bonnet is actually flat at the front because that just makes me feel like I'm in control. Like I can see everything on the road. I'm not missing out on anything. So yeah, I like that. Don't take it silence for weakness. This beauty is a beast. Loaded with a V6 3.3 liter engine, producing 265 horsepower. Like literally, right in front of me in this tiny bonnet, we have 265 horses charging on. I don't even think Game of Thrones had that many horses. What do you think? Now to answer the million dollar question of the day. Is this beauty worth the hype? Oh yes, she is. For me, the Santa Fe covers the three main S's that I consider whenever I'm buying a new car. Style, size, and savings. 
both beautiful interior and exterior, amazing size in that you can fit up to seven people inside the car. And of course, just for 142,000 dirhams, you can walk away with this beauty like I am. Mm -hmm.